Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Brendan here from Aussie Moto Vlogs, and welcome back to another video. Weather at the moment is pretty bad, so uh, it's a bit hard to get these videos out, but that did clear up not too long ago. So I decided to take the time and show you how to get your bike moving from a stop. So we've done the whole how to turn on your bike. This is going to be how to get your bike moving. So if you missed that video, be sure to click somewhere up here. I'll put it somewhere. A uh, little card to check out the previous video and we'll take it up from there. So let's jump over to me on the bike and I'll show you how it's done. Let's go. Okay, so we're on the bike. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you can hear me because I'm still experimenting with the uh, mic positioning, but I think it should be all good. So, um, as I've stated in the past, if you don't know how to turn the bike on and get it into this position, uh, be sure to click the card in the corner. But let's assume you've done that and you know how to turn your bike on. The next thing you want to do to start rolling the or getting the bike moving is um, pull your left clutch, the left side of your bike, the clutch, pull that in, and down the bottom there. Hopefully you can see it. Push that down once, and you're in first gear now. As you can see, the neutral light did turn off. So let's just show that for you again. Neutral light is on. I can let go of the clutch and nothing's going to happen. Push down. And neutral light is off. We're in first gear. Now, if I let go of the clutch, uh, the bike is going to stall and it's going to turn off. So, let's just show that to you. As you can see. Now, to turn the bike on when you're in first pull in the clutch and press your starter button just like so the first thing you want to do when you're riding a bike is find the friction point on the clutch that is the point where the bike wants to go but you're not applying any throttle just yet so if we just slowly let the clutch out the bike is starting to move as you can see on its own and if I pull it in it stops so that is your friction point, that is the point at which you want to apply your throttle and the bike's going to go. Now you want to do this in a quiet area, I am picked a relatively quiet street, not much traffic coming through. Now you want to spend like the first like 5-10 minutes even, just learning your friction point on your bike. My one is like, it's literally just like an inch out before it wants to go. And once you've learnt all that, and once you feel comfortable finding that friction point over and over again, that is when you want to apply the throttle. Now you don't want to gung-ho it and straight all the way twist your wrist. It's just a, just a light twist, just like that. And then as you slowly release, you can feel the bike starting to pick up pace. But we're not going to take off just yet. I'm actually in a no stopping zone, I just realised, so let me just move the bike. <laughs> Yeah, so you don't want to gung-ho it on the throttle just yet. <laughs> there is a point where you want to do that, where you want to get away from a set of lights, for instance, but we'll go over that much later. So for now, the throttle point, oh, the friction point's there. And now we're going to take off. So we're going to find the friction point. And at the same time, we're going to roll onto the throttle. Easiest way to do it is to do an idle start, which is where you already have your throttle engaged, so it'll be like this, at which point you just slowly release the throttle and you'll, you'll go. But um, don't dump the clutch, you will stall. It's all a smooth fluid motion, so it's just like this. As easy as that. And that is how you get your bike moving. It's pretty straightforward once you get used to doing it over and over again. You kind of don't even put any thought to the friction point anymore. It's because you just you learn where it is. That's why on um, Dean's motorbike I dislike it because he's... It's completely different. His throttle doesn't have... Um, 
any give, if that makes sense. Because my throttle has like a full inch before it actually engages, where Dean's one doesn't. But every bike's different, but it's all the same concept when it comes to riding. So I always start with finding the friction point. And then this is your front brake, rear brake's on my right foot. And we'll go over those in a future video. Alright, back to me in the office. Alright, as easy as that. So, thanks for tuning in. If you liked it, found it informative, be sure to just like, comment, share it with your friends, or anybody else that's aspiring to be a rider. And be sure to stay tuned for future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.